What's going on guys welcome to another Tasty Bit on Tasty Little Game. In case you don't know, Tasty Bits are where we have a random idea we want to talk about, so we do it. Uh, my name's Seth. I'm Josh. I'm Chevy. And I'm Chris. And there's four of us here, and we're going to be uh, looking over some of the trailers that came out at TGS 2016, giving our impressions. If you'd seen our uh, prior uh, React video to uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, we're going to be doing the same thing. So we're going to be watching this trailer, talking about what we see, see if we like it, see if it gets us hyped. See if uh, we're just like, eh, fuck this game. Uh, let me know to stop whenever you guys want. And uh, yeah, let's watch this trailer. Now this is for Final Fantasy XV, and it is a storyline trailer. Right. Which is something that I've actually been waiting on, because so far I've seen a lot of like random uh, cutscenes, not, not cutscenes, but random clips of the game, but like I want to get stoked for like what the story is going to bring. So I'm hoping it will elaborate a little bit. But like I said, uh, tell me to pause whenever. Damn. McCree's in the wrong world. <laughs> Already, I think it's worth noting that this game is fucking gorgeous looking. It's, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, it's very visually fucking... Very cool it, looking. Yeah. We all played the demo, so we've seen the game in action. I played both demos. And yeah. uh, it looks good then. Had a couple pop-up things, but I believe they updated that. They did, and they also added more features to them, which was kind of neat. Which is really so, interesting. Yeah, yeah. And then there was also the... The later demo um, after I think it was E3 mm. that was uh, kind of just a taste of like the updated like combat mechanics. Yeah, where you got to go through and you were you know running on a table and stuff like that. So, uh, so yeah, good looking game. Uh, so far, we it looks like we have uh, all the main characters and this dude. Anyone know who this is? No, I'm I'm, I'm I'm glad to see them utilizing the Unreal Engine though. So. Definitely, and this is on Unreal, yeah. which is which was smart on their part. So, mm -hmm. all right, we're gonna continue. Does it? Even though they're all wearing black, you can tell each individual character from themselves. They're yeah. not all look the exact fucking same. Mm -hmm. When a huge shirt of Final Fantasy is hair. Mm -hmm. Hairstyles really differentiate people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And this game is not shying away from that uh, also. But that is a good point that they all are wearing what almost seems more formal wear or to some stylistic representation of that. It all looks like they're dressed I know up. Knocked as a prince, and I think the other three are his like friends slash like royal guard. Mm -hmm. So another thing too I wanted to say, uh, when you said pause, is uh, it looks like at least in Japanese their um their facial animations and their lip syncing looks pretty good. Yeah, hopefully they're doing the same thing they did, I believe, with uh, 13 series where they used an automated um, lip program that would just try to go with... Whatever. I think a lot of people do that yeah. nowadays. I mean, even in Deus Ex, it seemed like the lips were following what they're saying, just delayed, which drove me fucking insane. Because yeah. they were there, they were working the way they should be, but it was like off by like 0.3 seconds. I wouldn't expect a lot. Square's usually bad at that. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, I don't expect a lot from Square. So I mean, like, if this game's even like good, I'll be stoked. Yeah. So. The physics on really, his hair are really good. Yeah, and I really like his outfit. Mm -hmm. I think it's really neat, super detailed. Pause it. That insignia that's on his back was on uh, a little. I don't, that's not a little boy, a little girl. Uh, is on the blonde hair kid's back too, so it's almost like a biker gang, um, some kind of allegiance. Yeah. So um, of course, that's, maybe that's why they're all wearing black. Yeah. But um, yeah, so that's just to note that that insignia was on their backs too. Yeah. Definitely. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Damn, it's pretty. No, very, really good looking game. It'd be the only reason I buy a PlayStation Pro. Oh, yeah? Voice acting sounds good in Japanese. It's good to see some emotion too. Plus everything that I've seen so far. Are good. Yeah. Everything that I've seen so far has just been him like sitting in the back of a car chilling while all of a sudden like, I don't know, like just chilling out. Huh? 
<laughs> and so it's it's cool to see some some uh, maybe drama. I guess is the word I'd use for it. Yeah. Well, I'm. It's a Final Fantasy storyline. I guarantee there'll be plenty of drama. Oh yeah. No. And yeah. I, just, I just hope it's it's good. Yeah. Well, this would almost rival, I think, Advent Children. Like how it looks. No, it's very it's similar. To seriously, it. it's fucking. Yeah, it's like, good looking. Man. Yeah. Like if you go back and watch Advent Children, I think this is close. That's a really good yeah. comparison. The yeah. style is definitely the same, but like mm. even graphically, I think it's fucking. I think it's, looks it's great. Close. I don't know that the cutscenes in the game are actually like. Not just like rendered cutscenes; they're actually like the character models that are used in game when you're yeah. playing yeah. the game. In engine, yeah, which is something which I'm used is... to with like Metal Gear Solid, and mm -hmm. it, it, it kind of keeps you in the game. Even though, as much as I, I'm sure they will have full on CGI cutscenes and shit, but uh, but it's cool to see stuff rendered in engine. Well, it mm -hmm. definitely makes me want to see what was the movie that I can't remember. It's called a like King's Guard or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gla no, King's Glaive. Like King's Glaive. Yeah. Is it? Okay, that um, sounds right. Just to see what they can do with. CG now because I mean like you said this looks good and you know that's meant to be a it, movie well so. yeah and this looks like it's rendered in game like Chris was saying yeah. mm -hmm. so and it looks fantastic Whoa. Mm -hmm. that's that dude from Borderlands old and old that's Sid that is not Sid uh, in this game Sid is a woman yeah mm. oh yeah Sidney mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn. The voice acting was fucking really good. good. Yeah. Armor, <laughs> which is dope. Too. Really bothers me that we will most likely only be able to play this in English. I hope the English cast does a really good job, but the, the Japanese voices are great. No, so far, like, I, I think they sound really good, and uh, it would be nice if they'd let you play in either, because they already made the game like this. Like, just give us subtitles like they're doing right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I wonder if this dude's a bad guy since everybody else is wearing black, he's wearing white. Maybe it's a mm -hmm. opposite thing. Well, you thing. can usually tell bad guys in, like, a lot of Japanese animations and arts and, yeah. uh, that their eyes have, like, a more narrow look to them. It's usually indi indicative of a villain. Yeah, or maturity, just like big eyes, especially in Japanese, uh, like anime stuff like that, it means innocence, right. open mindedness, welcoming, right. blah blah blah. Cool. I was just saying, it's interesting how the contrast, they're all wearing black, mm -hmm. normally in the game they look like villains and he's wearing white. <laughs> hey dude, who are you? That guy's animated like a motherfucker. Oh. Wow, her character model is really good. Yeah. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Even the, uh, the environments look great. Yeah, kind of. Isn't that knocked as a kid? Yeah. It looks like it, yeah. This game is supposed to take place over multiple years, right? Is that this game? I, I think so. I think you you begin as young knocked. Because um, I heard someone say ten years. I thought it was fifteen. Or fifteen. Yeah. I, Regardless, if that is yeah. true, that's actually really exciting for me because I love I love uh, sagas. I love something that chronicles the life of somebody. Mm -hmm. Dragon Ball Z, Berserk, stuff like that. Uh, so we really need to get invested in a character over time and see where they came from and what they grow into. Right. Um, right here we have a dude oh. with a... Yeah, I would say they got guns pointed on her. Um, yeah. Do we know who that is? I don't. And some... Something that doesn't look like the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they fix that. It's probably just blur effect. Probably. Um, what were you saying about the guns, though? Well, it's just interesting because she was sitting there just having like a conversation with Noct, and then it, it finally panned out, and all these people have guns on her. So I wonder what's going on here. Yeah. Oh, I think. Yeah, I think it's dope. The summons are supposed to be epic in this game. Oh. Did they showed that one video where Titan. it showed yeah. that huge guy throw that rock and yeah. just destroy a whole city. Yep. Yeah, might Titan. as well have. You can tell there was drama there between the group. Yeah. Of course, there's going to be, but 
and this, camaraderie. That was my favorite. Oh. Dope. Where they're all in the campground. Uh, when you rest for the night, you get these little cutscenes in between where they're sitting around chit chatting and having conversations, and you can choose like what meals to eat, and then the next day those meals will give you bonus attributes to like experience gain or like yeah. some stats gains, hmm. and then you can also like choose to do like side quests, side quests. with yeah. certain characters that you're having conversations with. It's interesting that it, it adds a uh, social dynamic to the characters to get to know them, but also is a actual mechanic to the game. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's kind of cool. I actually played a game, I forgot what the fuck it was, years ago, where there was like a campfire and you could like talk to everybody around it and then you play it the next day. What game was that? It was 3D. Uh, I don't know. It's like four people. Three or four people standing around a fire. I don't know, I'm drawing a blank. Yeah, I, I can't even remember what the characters look like. I just remember <laughs> doing that. I know, they, though, uh, well, like he was saying, or Chris was saying, was um, the updated demo, what would happen is, uh, yeah, they'd have these camps and they'd wake up and all of a sudden one of the characters would come up to one of the other characters and be like, hey, I got this blah, 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 you know, this thing I want to go check out, and only those two characters, and you could go choose to do the side quest with just those two characters. Mm. And it would involve um, some dynamic between those two. So. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. So... Before you see that chair that the guy on the right is sitting on, yeah, I fucking swear to God, I bought that chair from Cabela's. Those actually say uh, Coleman on them. Oh, really? Yep, yeah, right there. Yeah. Oh, then yeah, I did buy that chair before. <laughs> there, there's there's That's weird. very blatant advertising in, in the, the product. So to me, it yeah. almost like it gives some realness to the fucking world. Like, it's just interesting. It's, it's weird Fantasy. that it's Final Fantasy yeah, and yeah, Coleman products. It's not a game that I'm really necessarily looking for real realism. Like the, the cars or uh, Mercedes. Aren't Mercedes. They? Yeah. And I think there's Audi as well. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. So is this based on Earth? No, it's just because Final the Fantasy, the worlds are always fucking yeah. something crazy. This is, yeah. if I recall, is like one of the more technology friendly games that have come out, um, as well as like cityscape wise. There's supposed to be bigger cityscapes, flying ships, cars, guns, like anything you would see yeah. like present day is kind of thrown into this. Hmm. Let's continue. Chocobo. So this is awesome mm -hmm. because Chocobo's are fucking dope <laughs> shit, and the idea of uh, a Final Fantasy going back to having open areas again, mm -hmm. being able to write a, a fully rendered, detailed fucking Chocobo across that area just sounds dope to me. And yeah, you I'm can like see there's cars that. in the background, so yeah. obviously the world's alive. Um, hopefully. Uh, and plus, the size of this fucking place looks crazy. Well, yeah, even if you look at like uh, these structures here, that's mm -hmm. really neat looking. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping you'll be able to explore a lot of this. I don't think it's gonna be like Skyrim where you can, you know, go over mountains stuff like that. But because like, you know, I played the demo and it was a pretty big area for sure. Yeah. But uh, but definitely it didn't feel like it's supposed to be like a huge open world. But this this looks really fucking cool. And like I said, I'm just. I get stoked for Chocobos. I'm not even like the biggest Final Fantasy fan, and I fucking get stoked for Chocobos anytime time I see them. Yeah, I just need to see a Moogle now. I, I want right. I want that fat fucking Chocobo in 14. In 14. <laughs> I'm, I'm in love with that I thing. I have that one. I do too. It's so dope. Uh, so here's a boat. Yeah. Lots of different types of vehicles. And the water looks great. It does. Mm. Um, that's neat. That, that, from, you know, everything I've seen so far in this game, it's just been, like, them sitting in a fucking car all day. So, like, it's cool to see they're going to be not just driving down the highway all, all the, right. the whole game. Right, right. Having, like, a fucking buddy story. Trains. Trains. Does locations. Car plane? It's car plane. Planes, trains, and fucking automobiles. <laughs> <laughs> There's all sorts of shit here. Um, I actually think you're supposed to be able to upgrade your car. Holy shit. To be able to Can do you control this? this? Yeah. That looked, that looked like it was in real time. Like, he was just driving, and then you don't... Just yeah, that off. shit doesn't even take a while to fucking take off. It just goes, woo, and just leaves. <laughs> so that's pretty neat. Now, is this supposed to be his dad? I don't know. Because earlier it said something about someone passing, and I thought they were talking about his, his dad. His and dad. This guy seems kind uh, of uh, weak. Is, is the king, obviously. So. Yeah. Um, I'm I believe king. what the what it seems like, at least from all the trailers and, and stuff I've seen, is his dad's gonna die, and he's gonna get stuck in a, in a situation where someone's gonna be like going after the throne, and either he's like to use in hiding to make sure he doesn't get killed, or like he something was pinned on him. So well, it seems running. like he's kind of apprehensive to want to be king too. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I'm speculating. But like it a, seems like, like a that's coming still, into your own, which I think could be cool because I actually really like like uh, like that more classical storytelling of like kings and, and betrayal and stuff like that. So yeah. and I think it's something that Final Fantasy has always kind of 
like to dive into, and I think that's one of their more strong suits in mm-hmm. storytelling. Jesus. Oh. Ramu. 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 Yeah. So, yeah, let's look back real quick. Wasn't he in one of the demos? No. Or the te- he was in the tech guys, showing, wasn't he? The first tech gnarly. showing? I, I don't think so. Because I remember seeing it, like, he's like, they're in the middle of the woods, and he's he goes up and he just raises his staff and casts on literally oh, everything in the area is turned to what? ash. Yeah, I think you get him, there's a little goblin cave you can go through, and I think you un- you find his, like, esper or something like that, mm-hmm. and you unlock him. One of the things that's really cool about the Final Fantasy series is, like, the expected summons or whatever. I, I always class. love, and I always love seeing the new representations, and as the graphics mm-hmm. get better throughout the years, just seeing them rendered again. And so far, like, these look fucking awesome. Yeah, mm-hmm. the yeah it's huge. Crazy, Fire. yeah, I really like, like their... Giant. Yeah, and, like, Alexander's an actual city mm-hmm. or something like mm-hmm. that. Castle, and, yeah. Yeah, he's an actual yeah. castle. As long as they do she Oh there's my baby. <laughs> <laughs> now I wonder if they're gonna go with Shiva or the the or the if they're gonna go with the sister thing. From yeah. Thirteen. There's Ooh. Titan. Yeah, that's scary. So large, obvious large enemies. Mm, which looks fucking crazy. And it looks like they have mechanics. Yeah. Almost reminds you of and I I'm not saying this in a po- I, I'm saying it in a positive way. Reminds me of God of War. Yeah, kind of God of War yeah. has those huge, huge yeah. battles, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Or Shadow Colossus, if you want to do that. But you right, know, just it, it's it's really kind of cool to see full scale fucking like you know uh, summons and, stuff like and that. it looked like the party got split up. So yeah. I wonder if there's going to be like either you're. I always think that playing. even happens in the tech demo actually. Mm-hmm. Really, or, so you're mm-hmm. not always playing as knocked. Yeah, for the most part, you are. I think there are moments where you get to play as other people. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are they just creating their weapons out of nothing? Yeah. Yeah, they've got like this system where they can like pull out different weapons at different times. Noct mm. uses it the most. Noct can create like, mm. all types of weapons. Right. That is his death. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. Because it just showed him in like his inventory. And if I had to guess, it'll probably be a crystal power because every Final Fantasy is based around crystals. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. so, what did you guys think of this trailer? Um. It was pretty good. Um, didn't didn't really give too much on the story though, which it's kind of disappointing in a way. But at the same time, I want to play the game yeah. and get the story. Yep. It was nice to see um, something other than just like check out how the combat works, check out what you know what kind of systems we implemented. I mean, one of the earlier ones was even showing stealth missions, which I was not expecting at all. Right. In like so. getting on a turret and shooting and shit, yeah. like mm-hmm. some really weird stuff that I wouldn't expect from a game like this. Yeah. No, I. Uh, I mean, I already wanted this game anyways, and um, I don't know. It, it, it looked good to me, so. Uh, this trailer actually did a lot for me just because I've already been um, I've already been hyped on the look of it, the style of it, the gameplay of it, because I played the demo. I think it's fun. But the big thing that I've been afraid of is, is the storyline going to be good? And this doesn't really necessarily tell me if it's going to be good or bad, but at least I know where they're going with it, and I do, I do like that arc. I like the idea of... of him being royalty and stuff like that, um, and uh, and yeah, it, it, it kind of gave me a glimpse of more things to expect than just a road trip, essentially. Yeah. So I'm 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 excited for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, this this trailer turned this into almost a buy for me. I don't buy Final Fantasy games. To be honest. Yeah, me neither. They're not my they're not my fucking wheelhouse. Um, the last Final Fantasy I played to completion was ten. So, uh, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a yeah. long fucking time. <laughs> um, but yeah, I watched you play the demo. In fact, I might, I kind of, after watching that, I kind of want to go home and download the demo myself. You should definitely check it out. It's fun. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a good mix between Western RPGs and classic but, uh, J- JRPGs. I really, th- this really did a lot, and I, I'm i pretty excited. Yeah, they'd have to show something new that would just make me go, ugh, for me not to buy it. Yeah. I'm, more, I'm, on, I'm on track to probably buy it, or at least... Let Chevy buy it, and I'll play that. <laughs> well, I would say, I, I am most definitely buying it. Um, I mean, I bought, you know, 13, I bought 13 too. I bought Type Zero. I mean, like, a yeah. lot of people, yeah. you know, aren't the hugest fans of those, and I found quality in them that I still enjoyed. So, yeah. Um, I do really like, um, 
I don't know how to word this so well, but Final Fantasies always have like a feel to them and stuff. And I and even when the the story is overly convoluted or it's super linear, you still have that Final Fantasy feel to it. And I and I enjoy those systems. So, Chris, uh, I absolutely agree. Uh, I'm a huge Final Fantasy fanboy, so I pretty much bought almost every game that's come out since seven. Um, so I'm. I was already going to buy this anyways, but this just makes it like seem even better to me watching it. I'm just stoked for it. Mm. Well, it's coming out this year, November 29th. That's actually a lot sooner than I thought. I, for some reason, thought it was coming out next year. We've so. been waiting since last gen, because yeah. it was a different, different title. Month. Uh, it was like 13. <laughs> Versus. Versus. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Cool trailer. Dope. Uh, for our second trailer, we're going to be watching *Near Automata*, uh, which is, I guess, a sequel to 2010's *Near*. *Near*. Uh, apparently, it's a cult class, not cult classic, but it's cult following. People really liked it. I don't know shit about *Near*, but Chevy actually has an interest in this. I do. Uh, it's, it looks interesting to you. Um, do you know anything about it at all? I, I actually, the only thing I know about it is I believe it is by Platinum Games. Oh really? If I'm not mistaken, out of Bay- Bayonetta fame. Yeah. So they do. I think they're doing this and Scalebound right now. So Scalebound looks I, dope. I, I, I'm not 100. percent I'm sure yeah. it'll don't, tell us. Don't quote us. We'll but uh, correct us if anything. I remember seeing the E3 trailer, and I this wasn't even on my radar. And after watching the E3 trailer, I was like, I want to keep my eye on this game. It looks fun. So. Uh, anybody else know anything about this? Any expectations? Nope. All right, let's watch it. Uh, well, first off, it's oh, advertisement. This is an advertisement. Oh, I was like, <laughs> I was like, that's a fight. <laughs> Xbox is. I was gonna say, let's talk about that. But so, Recore, Recore, a game uh, I'm planning on doing a video for soonish. This actually gets me stoked that I own it. It looks cool. It would look cooler. I was gonna say it looked cooler in 1080p. Yeah. There's your boys. Yeah, those are my boys. Damage boys. <laughs> There's your free advertisement, Recore and Xbox. Well, I might just cut this, but we'll see. Okay. Ohio, Ohio. Square Enix. So apparently Square Enix owned TGS. It's a lot of very Japanese sci-fi imagery. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I kind of like the way it looks. Oh, cool. This is going to be a fast reaction, though. It is Platinum Games. Okay, good. <laughs> That's cool. They, I mean, they got a pedigree, so... Mm. Especially the combat supposed to be really action-y, I guess, so... Yeah. It, I, if they're making it, I don't mm. can't imagine doing something else. Damn, that was a Mechanarium fucking bot. Yeah, it was. <laughs> This is definitely a teaser trailer. This yeah. is definitely yeah. a teaser trailer, so we will definitely try. Yeah. Um, I want to pause, but fucking. I, think we're just... I like the style, though. I like the way the trailer is. It's making me curious about it. It sounds very chaotic from all the people just like yelling in the Screaming. background and yeah. stuff. I'm kind of bummed out that they used that as their TGS trailer because at E3 they actually showed some gameplay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember actually seeing the fucking game. Yeah. Um, this is everything. Uh, impressions. I'm, I'll, I'll jump in. Uh, it, it was a cool little hype teaser, you know? I'm mm-hmm. um, like, it, it's just, I was already curious before, and I was actually interested. This just made me more curious. I'm like, oh, this is, this yeah. is cool. I like the, I like the feeling or whatever. But at the same time, um, didn't do anything for me, really. Mm-hmm. It was just stylistically cool. Yeah, the one, I already said, you know, how I feel. Like, it, the, like, where was the, they showed less. The anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, no. that was, you know, it's loading. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. not loading. It's kind of a bummer trailer, to be honest. I saw somebody, though, with some kind of eye patch thing going on. Mm-hmm. And I love eye patches, so that's cool. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Um, there's a. Look like he had a rag, o- like something over his eyes, and there's a turret behind him firing. Um, there's another guy who's. I don't know if it was a tattoo or whatever the fuck was going up his, his yeah, arm. Yeah, the black was chest. crawling up of his arm um, and up to his chest. So, yeah, I mean, there I had some cool looking uh, imagery but I mean other yeah. than that I mean I have no idea what the fuck just happened <laughs> we know Platinum Games are making those so maybe yeah. maybe that's kind of a good sign yeah maybe. to me yeah cause they don't explain shit to me it Bayonetta. looked like um almost like this game is gonna be taking place where the characters are in a virtual reality setting and I only get that from the loading 
And from like one of the first clips, it shows a guy sitting in a room that seems very all st- like very sterile because it was all white and very pristine. It looked um, like he was touching stuff in the air. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So it seems like something that has to do with maybe an augmented reality or virtual reality setting in the game that the characters are taking part in mm. and that something could possibly go wrong, which is why everybody's panicking and freaking out and people are dying, which you show that kid, like, stabbed something. Mm. I don't know what. Yeah. Um, well, they did say it's a post-apocalyptic setting for the game, so mm-hmm. obviously it's going to be futuristic and, and, yeah. Okay, and for our third reaction video, we're going to be watching a trailer uh for the new Resident Evil, um, there was originally a trailer beforehand that didn't show a whole lot, and then it's essentially just video from the demo that came out. I was a little under underwhelmed by what, the demo when I played it. This, I think, is going to show a little bit more. So, uh, any expectations, any thoughts on Resident Evil before we get into this? Resident Evil isn't even a brand anymore. It's just kind of, to me, it's just like other games semi trying to be scary, so they're going to slap a, a fucking Resident Evil. It's a spook fest. Exactly. And, it's a creep. It's uh, creepy. It's boring. And, um... <laughs> So, you know, maybe this trailer will change my mind, but I don't have high hopes for this. Please no more parasites. I think you're going to get more parasites. I think in this one there's supposed to be ghosts and, like, serial killers. Spooky! So I think we're kind of getting so away from monsters. Resident Evil Condemned? I, yeah, I don't fucking know. Yes, Dude, because did anybody was... play the demo? No. No. It, ugh, okay. I thought this <laughs> yeah, was don't. supposed to have ties to the original game, though. It is. It's part of the storyline. Okay. Yeah, I don't to know. To Chris Redfield in the mansion? That game? I'm not 100% yeah. sure, but I thought well, that all the was Resident supposed Evils. to be ties specifically to the early games. In mm. this one. So you're like a detective in this or something. Yeah. Which is weird. But there's supposed to be like guns and flamethrowers and shit, so you're going to be shooting stuff. Let's watch the video. <sighs> now, if someone says, welcome to the family in this fucking trailer, I'm going to get pissed. Because <laughs> I played the demo, and every time you beat it, no matter what the ending is, you hear, welcome to the family. And then right. you turn around, they deck you in the head. We're going to get an ad. Oh, I thought you were talking about this because this is Mafia Three. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I was like, I was like, hey, damn. Another ad. We'll we'll get through real quick and then. Anybody excited about Mafia Three? I no. am. I'm stoked. I after two, one. after two, man. Mafia I, Two is fucking fantastic. I, and super. Uh, it deserves more praise. Yeah, October seventh. That's games, literally so. in a couple weeks. All right. Here's the trailer. Welcome to the family. Let's see if they say it. They said so much in the demo. Apparently they have their own engine, which is kind of cool. re-engine. So, season three of True Detective. Uh-huh. Well, graphically it looks amazing already from this. The game does have like a photorealistic look to it. Yeah. Which is neat. I shouldn't have... That's Far Cry. All I can say is that if you get this, Stay away. What are those legs? It's a cow head. And... Uh, yeah, it looks like animal parts. Mm. Saw blade. Saw blades. So Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. Very basic horror yeah. tropes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, got the swell. There's no one. <laughs> a mansion of some sort. This game looks good. It does look good. It looks yeah. good. I mean, even when I played it, I thought, look, it doesn't look PT good. And that's definitely what they're trying to go after. <laughs> like, PT and Konami, they they lost uh, a, a big deal there. That game was going to make some fucking money. And I think these guys are going to try and get that Swoop money. Swoop in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, now, this game also is 100% playable in VR, I believe, too. Yeah, which is going to be crazy. Um, yeah. I think this will be one of the flagship titles for VR. Probably. When it comes out. Yeah. Like, I, I, this people are going to be buying it. Yeah. Oh, the hallway. Silent Hills. Oh. So we got a dude with a broom. That sh- <laughs> fucking shovel knight? Cleaning the house, obviously. That, that guy's reverse cleaning. I, <laughs> he's remodeling. I like how he blasted through with his fucking hand, and he's walking already through the wall with his head out first. So as the second, like that guy, to go through the wall like that, he had to have punched through and already fucking been going through it without any hesitation. It's fucking horrifying. He started out with a broom, which is scary. <laughs> yeah, like this guy is fucking ultimate jam. I thought that was a chunk of rebar of the fucking. This is what you've been doing over the weekend, there. right? What the tiles? Yeah, yeah. You're Basically, doing... this is me. This is a video clip of me. <laughs> What were you going to say, Shelby? Uh, I was going to say, to talk about the graphics again, um, I love, um, like, this is a still image, is really, like, 
really nice look at it. You got yeah. the smoke effects in the background. You got the light reflection on the left, and a more you know softer light on the right hand side there. And uh, the the particles on the ground. I don't mm -hmm. know. It's just done really well. Yeah, the one thing I noticed in the demo, because like I said, I think this game looks really good. But uh, the thing that I noticed, noticed in a lot of uh, Japanese games is the animations aren't up to scratch with something like Naughty Dog, which sure. I know is a tall order, but right. it's something I notice a lot of times. Even if the games look fantastic, even Metal Gear Solid Five, love Metal Gear Solid, looks great, still looks stiff in its animations. Stiff, yeah. yeah, everything's kind of like quick and stiff feeling. Um, and when I play the demo, the characters all kind of just kind of moved like this and stuff. Like they didn't. There was no uh, finesse articulation. Yeah, both that. <laughs> all right, so janitor simulator. He walked through that fucking Demolish wall. Demolished the whole fucking wall. He just walked through the fucking house. So, the guy's walking up to the speed. Oh, okay, okay, let's be honest. You're getting hit with a broom. Stop being a pussy. Are you sure I, it's think a a shovel, I think it's a shovel, man. I think it's a shovel. Oh, that would make sense. I'm, I'm not conceding. Uh, uh, that's a broom. I'm sticking with broom. <laughs> and getting hit with the broom fucking hurt. <laughs> not like you're going to kick that's my ass That's a fucking away. shovel. It's going to break over, man. Kick, kick your ass. Um, alright. So, Broom Knight. Shadows look good. There's a gun. Grab my balls and tell him to dust this. <laughs> oh my god. Sweep this, you bitch. Uh, crime scene of some sort. Car. Seeing a car. Uh, Getting out of a car. Fuck it. Like this cool Orange guy. jumpsuit. Fucking. He's got a broom, too. Was that Trevor from fucking GTA 5? That'd be horrifying. <laughs> That's a scary fucking game. He's after you. <laughs> Well, the other car, that's fucking gnarly. Well, the animations there look really good. Yeah. Maybe that demo is just thrown together. Family Matters. <laughs> oh! Ooh. That's shooting. That's good fire effect. Dude, his face is melting off. Huh? Man, I'm gonna give him props. And, I mean, we've said it a couple times now, the graphics are really good. So oh, kind of a, did you see how twitchy his hands are? Got a kind of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Devil's Rejects thing going on, it seems like. Yeah. The old Rat Claws McGee over there, fucking yeah. getting creepy. <laughs> well, this fucking dude. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Oh, I think talking about this guy with his hand out. Infamous. <laughs> oh, it's a woman. Gross. Got a dead person here. Looks like they're just. It looks like yeah, you're right. It looks like Devil's Rejects. It looks like they're just eating a sleeping. They're just eating the body. A bunch of entrails and things yeah. like that. Yeah. Ew. Now, how the fuck is this Resident Evil though? I don't see I don't anything. Know. Where's Evil's the so identity? That guy's. That guy's the guy who dragged that bitch out of the car though. Yeah. By a shirt. That's a good connection. Definitely. Um. Game's good looking though. Well, I mean, fucking look at the lighting. Yeah. It's a really good looking game. Too bad this chick's just kind of... Creeping me fucking out. Fucking... Give me a reverse boner. <laughs> <laughs> Any? Yeah, it's sucking up into me. It hurts. It's good. Jesus. Oh! Okay, well, these guys are really close. Holy shit. The fuck? He got Supper. Come here, boy. This dude is coming. Airplane's coming in. Ugh. Get him, get him, get him. He's not eating it yet. He's not eating it. Shut the hell up, Mother. Get the hell out of here. You're a son of a bitch. Oh, I can't believe it. You're a son of a bitch. You're not eating it. He's not eating it. This was supposed to be a very special feast. Come on, boy. Oh. Welcome to the family, son. Oh! <laughs> I had fucking the bitch from... The ring? Uh, no, I was thinking of, um, Fear. Wow. Alma. Alma. I'm really hoping at some point there is some connection to the franchise, because... It... It's supposed to be. It's coming out, uh, early next year. After the so I'm not even opposed to, like... Everything I saw actually looked pretty good. Uh, yeah. I almost wish they would have just called it something else. That's where I'm at. Like, if this had some other name to it, I'd be like, oh, this game looks really fucking interesting. And it still does, very much. I don't think it looks bad in any way. I mean, there's some dorky things about it, but other than that, like, it looks like a cool game. I just, I don't get... They already kind of redid things with Resident Evil with 4, and that helped the game out a lot, but then they made 5 and 6. 
but which I thought were fun, but like it just completely changed the tone of Resident Evil, and they're doing the same thing here. But this one seems so much bigger of a tonal shift because yeah. it's a first-person shooter. It's it's, I mean, they're doing a good job with with uh, with people actually talking. Resident Evil's always had kind of shitty dialogue, right? Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm I'm just curious, yeah, because like. I, I'm not seeing zombies. I'm not seeing any kind of infected or you know like um, what were we calling them the uh, parasites. parasites, parasites, stuff like that. Like I'm not seeing any of that. Mm. It literally looks like like when I read uh, some info about it, they're talking about, like ghosts and shit and like killers. And I'm like, so not Resident Evil, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, how do you take? And it, it's I, I like that they're shrinking the story down again because I my favorite Resident Evil is one, and then two, and then four, but. uh the story got so fucking crazy with like five and six on this like global level, all these different companies mm-hmm. and fucking everyone's Just infected all over the world. And shit. And it's shit. just so yeah, fucking crazy wild. that like condensing it's cool, but at the same time, how are you gonna compress that from all that craziness to this? Where you're sitting during what should be close to the apocalypse, uh Sitting at a table with some fucking crazy people. Um uh, quick question, did you guys see any modern technology? In that game, other than one of the, I mean, the gun. Looked in like the demo, movie. there is a VHS tape and a VCR. Okay. So at the very least, we know, and that cop car looked pretty modern. Okay. So Something at the very least, we know it's modern-ish. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, because I was like, maybe it's set in like the eighties, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre or something yeah. like that. Maybe it's like older school, well, but. And I'm pretty sure, like I, I had asked earlier, that this takes place right around the same time as Resident Evil 1. I don't know if it's right before it or something like that. It'd be kind of cool, though, if it had to do around like the, the outskirts of uh, Raccoon City around the mansion and stuff. Yeah. That'd be a really cool tie-in, too, if you got to revisit that, even though you kind of do in like, a lot of the Resident Evil games. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but with those graphics, I would love that. Like I said, the first Resident Evil is my favorite Resident Evil, so I would love anything that ties into that. And kind of condenses the storyline, makes it less fucking insane. With you know Wesker being goddamn Neo, a T Rex and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's a, he's been a couple things. Mm. He had teleports around, throwing like fucking missiles at people and shit. Yeah, and fucking jets, just talking shit all day. If you didn't have the Resident Evil precursor title to it, I wouldn't even know this was a Resident Evil game. Yeah, I thought it was some sort of weird yeah. horror game that yeah, would definitely... not suit my style because I like a good horror movie. I don't like... You just don't like having to change your pants every fucking 20 minutes? No, I, no it, I don't like things that are, like, overly gory for the sake of being gory. Like, mm. House of Thousand Corpses. Didn't care for it, because it uh, was just... Hell no, fuck mm. Rob Zombie. Gore porn. You don't like gore porn. Yeah, I don't like yeah. gore porn. Mm-hmm. I like Hostel. But I also don't see anything to hey, tie buddy. into Resident Evil, so... Yeah. No, this game could be called fucking Crime Game. I'm like, damn, I'm gonna buy a game called Crime Game. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's weird. Yeah. Like, and I wouldn't be pissed. <laughs> But if it's fucking, if it's, if it's goddamn, or like fucking Detective Man, I'd be like, wow, that game looks great for such a stupid name. But like, it's Resident Evil, I'm like, I don't get it. And I'm sure I will. I mean, like, situations like this always happen where people are super judgmental. I mean, obviously it's not a video game, but like, Heath Ledger is the Joker. Everybody fucking hated the idea, and then, you know, it's like one of the greatest villains of all time now. And like, you know, fucking when Resident Evil 4 was coming out, people were like, what the fuck? It's a third person shooter that like, you're shooting people that have pitchforks? Yeah. And people loved it. It's probably people, some people's favorite Resident Evil. So, you know, I, I don't want to judge it too much. I'm just really, really confused. And I wish they would release a trailer that kind of hints at why this is Resident Evil. Because so far it just feels like they just fucking completely rebranded it. And are trying to get that PT money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is smart. makes sense. But at the same time, where's your balls at? I, if, <laughs> if they don't have solid connections to the, fucking broom. the Resident Evil franchise... Um, I think they would have been better off making this a new IP because we're in a time right now where new IPs are being made anyways. Mm-hmm. Capcom needs a new IP anyways. so Crazy fam. They would kind of ride those coattails of every old IP they have. For well, they're, they're riding the Resident Evil name right now, ever. which they don't have to do anymore. Yeah. So. Well, they, they survive off of Resident Evil and Street, Street Fighter. Fighter. Yep. It's a bummer. Which is weird. Where's Mega Man? Dead. Mm-hmm. Dead Rising's Capcom. Yeah, they still make a whole lot of those. Yeah, obviously, still they're a sequel, doing. Though, like, obviously, um, they're doing good enough to make a make a fourth, fourth one now. Yeah. And ha- and the triple pack just released. I love those games. No, they're fun. Definitely it's so much fun. Um, I think for time's sake, though, we should probably end it there. Um, 
So far, what, what was your favorite trailer? Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy as well. <laughs> um, near. Seems interesting. Mm-hmm. We'll have to do... Bad fucking we'll, trailer. We'll have to find a better trailer sometime and actually do a better breakdown on that. And then Resident Evil... I'm I'm completely interested in it. We've, I'm not gonna repeat too much. I'm completely interested in the game. I just don't get it. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Well, I think it's gonna do it for this uh, reaction video to uh, three trailers from TGS 2016. Let us know in the comments. Are there uh, are there some games that we should be uh, checking out that were also shown at TGS that we didn't watch? Uh, let us know. And uh, what games are you excited for uh, that were shown off at TGS? But, uh, yeah, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe if you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to check out other episodes. Make sure to check us out on Tumblr, Twitter, Taste of the Game, and check us out on Twitch, Sleep Division. And, yeah, my name's Seth. I'm Josh. I'm Chevy. And I'm Chris. Stick around uh, for Friday. We're doing a week early plus club for scheduling reasons. Uh, but until then, uh, have a good week, guys, and take it easy.